name is Emil Dawson and this is my partner Ismail Kader and we are two learners from William Pescott High School from Northern Cape in the Kimberley region and our project is a learner's renaissance and my partner over here will be giving you a better overview or a deeper understanding about what our project is basically about. Thank you Emil. Okay, so our project is named a learner's renaissance, right? So why we call it the learner's renaissance is we have noticed that within certain types of schools, the missing metal coin, there is the death, if I can say, of culture and arts within these schools due to a lack of resources, a straining teaching schedule, all of it. So, for example, our school at William Pescott High School, we are one of the schools with the richest culture in Northern Cape boasting alumni that has reached the tops of the world, knighted by the Queen, uh, Concord judge. But unfortunately over the years this culture has died out and the learners do not know this culture anymore. And we've noticed that within schools that there's this focus towards academics. Although I, I must uh, add that in certain schools there is the artistic, the artistic uh, narrative also pushed where they encourage learners to be artistic and creative. But this is a very difficult thing to do within public schools, within schools that lack the resources. So let's take our school for example. Our school there is no arts teacher. All our teachers are very busy all the time. Hence why we came up with the Learners Renaissance. An innovative and cost efficient means in order to cultivate schools to become an environment which in which includes all 12 types of intelligence and nurtures them. So if I may start with my project. One of the project under our project, we can call it like the sub-project, is actually a cafe. So we learned that in our school there's a lot of learners that is gifted in the talent of business, making money and sales. But this talent is often overlooked due to the focus on academics. Hence why we started a cafe by our school in which the learners are the businessmen of the cafe. They run it. Now this is where they can put their entrepreneurship knowledge to the real test and they learn often from it. One of the other narratives, we, projects, sub-projects, would be the wellness center. So me and Emil, we had a friend, right, that told us, when I go home, we asked him, why do you use drugs? We didn't ask him like directly, we asked him, you know, like, like, why do you smoke? And he told us, when I go home, I go to a bad environment. When I come to school, I come to a bad environment. And I'm happy at school. Why, why must I be happy? And he told us, tell me, where do I get the break in between? He told me, by home I'm not okay, by the school I'm not okay. He told me that's why I do the drugs. So that's why we founded a sub-project also, the Wellness Center. Now the interesting part of the Wellness Center, the Wellness Center isn't something you build, it's something you innovate on. What do I mean by this? All schools, most schools, because uh, Professor Andrew Kaji, uh, one of our uh, educators that assisted with us, did raise the point that there are schools who have less than us. And we've noticed that within the missing middle schools, there's often times there's rooms that's out of use, that's never been used. And the wellness center is a concept where if you can find an old room, you can then, how do I say, attach the wellness center concept to that room and you can add life back to the room. Now our wellness center has become the venue for our second three initiatives, which is the fashion line, the media team and the music label. A few moments later. For the top social science project, the winner in this category will receive a tablet. And the winner comes, the winners rather, come from the Kimberley region. Emil Dawson and Ishmael Kada. I just love the camaraderie that the two of you are showing to each other. Brilliant. Please come forward.
for the senior category. Ishmael Kadir and Emily Dawson. Mr. Camille, my apologies. 